Lesson 22. Strokes on the downbeat and offbeat with breakdown of the hi-hat. Strokes on the downbeat and offbeat with breakdown of the hi-hat. In this lesson, I'll show you some very useful exercises to better your precision with the tempo and the quality of the groove. They will also help to correctly place strokes in fourths and the offbeat in eighths with the most common accompaniments, that is, quarter notes, eighth notes, sixteenth notes with one hand, and sixteenth notes with two hands. You'll play everything with the help of a metronome. Once you've correctly followed the exercises listed, you'll be able to play any rhythm you have in mind, with strokes in fourths and offbeat in eighths, as we've said, that are inserted in any point of the measure. This is what I'm really interested in. Not in teaching rhythm one, rhythm two, rhythm three, and so on. Sure, it's useful suggesting a few things every once in a while. But what's truly important is that you understand the arguments we're dealing with and are able to apply them in the way you feel is best. Exercise A. Exercise B. Exercise C. Exercise D. Exercise E. Exercise F. Exercise G. Exercise H. Exercise I. Exercise K. Exercise L. Exercise M. Exercise 
exercise N. Exercise O. Exercise P. Exercise Q. You have to pick up the speed, particularly in the exercises with the accompaniment in fourths, since, as we've already said, we drummers choose this accompaniment whether to obtain a drier sound or because the song we're playing is very fast. Therefore, it's good to prepare ourselves in order to avoid any difficulties. I'll show you an example with exercise I.